Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we're looking at Ace Hills Carb Free Light Lager. So, I had the lime variant first. Uh, I probably should have started with this, but I didn't. So, 4% alcohol by volume, 80 calories, no fat, no carbs, 1 gram of protein, no cholesterol, 5 milligrams of sodium. That sounds like sadness. 120 milligrams of potassium, 10 milligrams of calcium, no iron, water, malted barley, flaked corn, hops, and yeast, premium simplicity, and easy drinking, crisp, smooth, and clean light beer. We beer you. Uh, and it still says Canada's first, zero grams of carbs, zero grams of sugar, 4% alcohol, 80 calorie beer. Uh, I, I guess maybe Canada's first? I don't think there's a lot of carb free there's low carb like uh slim and clear 2.0 and stuff um i could ex i could really see the lime one being canada's first because i'd never really heard of a flavored one but i thought i've i guess i'm thinking wrong i must be remember remembering wrong information it is in the slim pounder cans the same cans that you used to see things like um cold shots and stuff in well, I guess cold shots were in smaller cans than this. They were in, like, the Red Bull cans. But, hey, it is what it is, right? So, no cl no glass, none of that sh shiznit. Open her up. It's going to be very pale colored. So, let's do it, eh? Kind of just smells like a very light beer. Cheers. Yeah. So, I was worried on how this was going to taste because the light the light had like this hoppy aftertaste and all that. That hoppy aftertaste obviously was just whatever lime flavoring they used because this is just nonchalant bougie beer. Being that I basically you're just paying extra money for a craft beer where you could drink like a Mick Ultra or something and have basically the same flavor as this. So unless you're looking to support local and all that all the time, there's other things you could use instead of this. Can't say I didn't like that one. Was not a fan of the lime. Excuse me. If you're just looking for a beer, that that works great. I'm gonna give that a seven out of ten. I would buy that again. That a little bit of breadiness, a little bit of biscuitiness. Then that's about it. Just just like your average, very low ABV, low carbonation type of beer. Cheers, guys.